Hardcore, hardcore. Welcome back, everybody. In between episodes, I've been having a, a bit of a, well, I suppose you could call it a philosophical, moral, ethical debate on cow cramming the ethics of it and should I do it. And I've decided they convinced me no longer can I do this. It's been too long. It's time. Yes, I see you look and look. I'm going to break the block. I, I swear I'm going to break the block and let you out forever. No, yep, that block right there. Uh-huh. Just kidding. Who am I kidding? Have some food, relax, sit back, and enjoy your life. In between episodes, the wheat farm is going good. I took a little bit of time and fully planted this entire farm. It's beautiful. It gorgeously, look at all of the wheat that I have. There's so much extra bread and that's perfect because for today's episode, we're gonna need it. Over one solid stack of food. Have you ever seen so much food in your life? The answer is no. Ayo, real quick, before we do anything else in the episode, I want to remind you that leaving a like on these videos always helps them out with YouTube and their reach big time. If you've been enjoying the hardcore series and you want to make sure I stay alive and in forever, then tap like right now. It'll let me know. Thank you. So, my dear friends, my dear friends, I think it's time for a little bit of travel away from home. I'm going a little too stir crazy over here. The storage building, get out of my house. This storage room over here, sure, it could need a little bit more organization, but it could also use a little bit more diamonds and definitely iron. Hmm, the spyglass, spyglass. How in the world does one create a spyglass inside of Minecraft? Well, I guess we'll never know. For today's episode that kicks off at day number 30, we've got one goal and one goal only. The Trial Chambers, Minecraft 1.21's biggest, baddest, and most fascinating structure. This is like the big thing with Minecraft 1.21 right now, and I can't believe it. How could we? We haven't even found it yet. And so, just like that, today's goal, the tone was set. By the end of the episode, 100%, we need to locate a trial chamber. Hey, trial chambers, trial chambers. Hey, I know a little bit about the trial chamber. Hey, maybe I'm being humble. Maybe I know a medium amount about the trial chambers. I've done my fair bit of a share of, uh, excuse me, creeper, not today. I am busy and on a mission. I'm going to be saving this diamond armor, right? Like, nothing can hurt me anymore, right? Please say yes. Hmm, the mine shaft. It kicks it all off today. Down here inside of the mine shaft, have I left anything nice for me to take? More specifically, maybe a little bit of coal. Looking at my stockpile here, I don't know how long this is going to take us. I feel like I should probably get over a stack, right? Ah, uh, coal, 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 coal. It will be very coal of you. Haha, <laughs> get it? If you could, like, show up right around the corner. Maybe, like, right here. Iron. I'm gonna be honest. Iron is not the main plan today, but iron is definitely a side plan. 100%, I need more iron. If we want to continue our theme of total of world annihilation and domination... Well, the diamond armor carries. Doesn't it, lads? Diamond armor carries. Well, fine. <laughs> fine, hide your coal. I don't care anymore. Hide your coal all you want because instead, a consolation prize has been offered to me and uh, I'm looking at the negotiations, the offers, the potential pros, the cons of it all and I think I will go ahead and accept your generous, generous offer, Minecraft the world, the name of this geode and maybe coal on the side? No, I'm, I'm asking for too much, too greedy. Okay, Amethyst Geode, you're beautiful. And so important for my operation today. So I gotta be honest, I can't remember exactly the recipe, but uh, yes, I thought it was maybe like two cop or something like that. This is probably gonna help me spot like anything weird and small off in the distance. I'm thinking like maybe a little bit more coal or even some tough bricks on the wall of a cave or something. The spyglass is probably gonna be a big help. Well, hi, friend. Not so fast. Not so fast. Calm down. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, I thought I had that. I really thought I had that. I gotta be careful. Just one patch of coal. One little simple chunk of coal. That's all that I'm looking for. I get one chunk of coal anywhere inside of this cave, then I'll head down to the depths and really start the search. Please, give me something. So, with not really as much coal as I was dreaming of inside of my inventory, but coal nonetheless, I think it's time we had to show on the road. So, over here, I have a little humble staircase that maybe has... Do I see any coal? I'm desperate here. Look, I'm real desperate. 
So look, over here I've got a little staircase that goes down into this gigantic ravine. I know a thing or two about the trial chamber structure. You see, in a completely different world, for a completely different video, I've done a little bit of, like, I guess you could say investigating into the structure. A little bit of a deep dive. One thing that I do know for absolute 100% certainty is that the trial chambers is usually gonna pop up inside of the deep slate range. Logically, knowing that inside of my head, I figured it makes only perfect sense to head down to the deepest and biggest cave that I know of, slaughter every creeper that I can find in existence easily and cleanly, ooh, and look around on the walls, or maybe even in the middle of the thing, for a random trial chamber structure. I figured if we could move down into this thing and maybe like play it safe, kind of like follow the walls or something like that, at least like a little bit relatively. Maybe if I follow the walls, I meant like follow them out into the middle of the room this way and then carry on from here. Alrighty, so here goes nothing. Go ahead and do the, go ahead and uh, do the thing. Oh, you poor beautiful bat. <laughs> you were just born. Hey, wait a second, wait a second. Music disc? No? Okay, okay, never mind. All right, uh, so that's that. Uh, thankfully, there will be zero more mob spawns for the rest of the episode. I can feel it. Just, just a strong haunch or something. What in the world do I have over here? It looks like this cave gets big, giant, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet you this connects to, like, the lower part that we found previously. This definitely looks like it could be prime trial chamber hunting location. Hmm, so to get down, to get down, to get down. When it comes to the trials that we would like to chamber, the structure is going to most commonly pop up anywhere in between Y negative 20 and Y like negative 40, something like that. That's where it starts every single time. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Every time I go into the caves, it becomes a thunderstorm. Oh no, oh no. I can't have that happen. That's dangerous. So for this, it's not necessarily the deeper we go, the luckier we get, but definitely the deeper we go, the more likely we are to find diamonds, sweet diamonds, and in the pursuit of pure profit and shallowness and everything like that, if I could find a couple more diamonds and come back home with those two, well, I'd be a happy camper, a beautiful, smiling boy, a wonderfully glowing lad. Yeah, something like that. All right, so backtracking a little bit. I'm curious here. This has to be. Oh, it definitely is. This is the same lava lake that I found before. This is where I was getting rich and loaded with diamonds, too. All right, so I got to think strategically from here on out in this episode. I need to be careful with all these skeletors all over the place, but also... I need to be a little bit more conservative when it comes to my torches. See, on one hand, I would like to, you know, light the road up and make it nice and safe, but on the other hand, I'm tight on cold. You know, maybe if I could find, like, a second mine shaft or something, that could be really, really good. More mine shafts, then there's always, like, maybe they go up into coal range, or maybe even better, there's just a chest loaded up with a ton of coal. The first diamond of the day, oh, it's beautiful, baby, and wow, this cave, this thing just keeps going and going and going. For all of our trial chamber looking and searching today, I think this is probably gonna be perfect. This is probably gonna be the strategy once the update drops. So the trial chamber structure, unfortunately, there's no like big clue or anything that gives it away and says, hey, here's the structure right here or something like that. But kind of just like the dungeon, but even of course larger, the structure is a relatively common structure, which means hopefully if you're at least a little bit lucky, you should be able to find it without it being like too much of a struggle. I don't know how it is on Minecraft Bedrock, but from the last time I was checking, of course, it, w it would just be randomly completely different, and it was, like, way more rare over there. We're talking, like, every thousand or so blocks, is, I'm pretty sure that's an ore vein. That's gotta be an ore vein in diamonds, too. Yeah, anyways, on Bedrock, we're talking, like, yeah, it's 100% actually an ore vein. Look at that. You never find it isolated, surrounded by tough. You found an ore vein, lads. You never need iron again. The trial chambers this is a relatively big, relatively common structure. This shouldn't be too difficult to find one of these things, especially if we have a gigantic cave. Profits, profits, beautiful profits. I feel terrible about doing this. I definitely, at this point, have an excess of diamonds. I should have, like, maybe saved these for fortune or something, but... Well, let's be honest. Will I remember to get fortune and then remember the exact coordinates of every single diamond? Do I want to write them down? Heck, no, 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 no. Profit, it's mine today. Hey, give me the boots. Give me the boots. I need the boots for the trial chamber. Give me the boots. All right, fine. So we learn as we go, lads. We learn as we go. I feel like maybe uh, logic. Whoa. 
Oh, that's a fossil in there. Ah, that is so cool. And I definitely don't need to get that right now, but I legit think this might be the first time I've ever found a fossil in survival Minecraft. No way. No flipping way. These things are so rare. Oh, that is so cool. Careful, buddy. Oh, that's so sad. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, that's so cool. That's that's amazing. That's such a cool find. Anyways, I feel like the strategy here is probably going to be like find a big cave, move in big cave in organized fashion. Maybe like say like find a wall and kind of approximately follow the wall or something like that. Hopefully sooner or later, preferably sooner, that will take me somewhere. And maybe even the, the skeletons could just stop too. I'm just a simple miner. This cavern, this cavern is getting insane. Look at this room right here. It's like tiny, these smallest little pillars. I forget what you technically call them in here, but tiny little pillars. It goes all the way up to the coal right there. Ah, oh, that'd be a dream. Ah, oh, it goes all the way up to the coal and it's just weird pillars and even more diamonds. So what do you know? All right, this is the one. This is the one I can feel it. The setup is literally perfect for this. If this creeper and the skeleton can cooperate, the music disc can be mine. The one I've always dreamed of. Please help me. Help. No. Yes, 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 yes. You did it. Thank you so much for your services. Now you can swim away. Swim to the lava, my friend. I don't care about you anymore. In fact, I block you over. We bury you alive. We bury you alive. Goodbye. I had no choice. I'm sorry. All right, so what did I get? What is this one? Ward. Ah, is Ward one of the good ones? I I mean, it's an OG, so it's great, but is Ward good? I, I don't remember. We'll listen to it later. And the just in case, no chances right there, we'll cover you up all the way. Carrying on. You know what? I feel like I should do it. I kind of high key hate how it looks, but subtitles. I don't know if there's going to be like necessarily any special subtitles for the trial chambers, but... Maybe there might be something unusual that pops up and I notice it by chance. And maybe, enough with these all these mobs. This is getting sick and I'm getting tired and sick of it. I've, I found a mob spawner over here in the cave. This is insane. All right, so moving back to the relative safety of my safe spot right here. Let's look around at the walls. This wall looks really flat, but I wouldn't consider it like suspiciously flat. Excuse me, I, I thought I was safe here. There's nothing safe down here anymore. Can't have anything in the Minecraft caves. Gosh, uh, this wall, it's flat, but I don't think it's like suspiciously flat. It looks pretty normal generation stuff. Up high, it looks like we have a tall, tall cave that maybe could keep going. More flat walls. It's just a wall, probably. Over there, it almost looks like the cave might continue, though. And of course, there's those diamonds. A loss and so. I think, logically speaking, it's time to move. More specifically, move up. I wonder if maybe I could be parkour legend and carefully, slowly, surely move all the way up. Aha! Parkour legend all the way up here, an aquifer. That could be beautiful for profits. An aquifer combined with a Minecraft mob farm. There's skeletons on the ledge and a spider too. Stop it, stop it. Huh, peculiar. That's not something you see every mineshaft. It's not something you see every mineshaft. Off the ledge, off the ledge. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Off the ledge, goodbye. I've had it with the skeletons today. I can't take it any longer. There cannot be any more skeletons, but there is a beautiful mine shaft. And I think it was right above our eyes the entire time, sitting here waiting for me to find you delicately. Oh, I can't believe it. We found the mine shaft. I, I said I could find a mine shaft and maybe get a little bit of extra coal. And well, it looks like dreams really do come true. Always strive, always strive and prosper. I mean, like they say, always strive, always strive and prosper. <laughs> So, after striving and prospering for a little bit of time, one minecart chest later, the inventory is looking real full, real tight and full. Hopefully, we can find this thing soon. Unfortunately, I did not find any more coal either, so it's really seriously crunch time. For our next move of the day here, what I was thinking is maybe I'll backtrack my way along this aquifer because it almost looks like the cave like opened up to the other side over this way. It sure is nice that this cave gets real big and tall, but if we have to, I don't think going up is a great idea. Instead, we'll just turn around and go back over that way and try and find even more caves. But maybe we won't have to. Who knows? I mean, hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, we can just find the thing inside of here. And that all got me thinking. Find the trial chambers. The trial chambers, we need to locate them. Wouldn't it be, like, amazing and kind of a low-key, high-key genius idea if maybe in, like, 
Uh, leave me alone. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm trying to present my, like, amazing idea to the class. Leave me alone. Stop it. No. And the armor is cheating, too. That's rigged. Get it out of here. It's busted. Wouldn't it be one of the most amazing genius ideas of all time to have some kind of thing we could craft, almost like a compass or, like, a clock or something that would, like, lock on to solid copper blocks? Hey, I mean, after all, think about where they generate inside of the world and, like, ah, uh, whoa. Hey, watch it, buddy. I'm trying to talk. Oh, whoa, uh, they, uh, wow, that's crazy. That's the most diamonds I've seen in my life. Anyways, think about the copper block and where it, like, actually generates in the world. Oh, yeah, that's right. It only generates in one single spot. This device. You should be able to make a device, and then it will, like, maybe, like, pulse the world somehow and detect where the, the metals are inside of the world. That would mean if at your base, like, you build it with a ton of copper, it's going to unfortunately lock onto those things and, like, kind of, like, signal in a certain direction. I don't know how it tells you to go in the direction. I don't know how it tells you to go in the direction, but it would like maybe like flash to the top, the left, the right of your screen and tell you that something weird is going on. Uh, there's a lot of metal in this general direction. A pulsing tool. A pulsing tool to locate the thing that you've always been dreaming of. The thing you've always wanted to see is making me hungry. <laughs> we've done it. We've done it. The trial chambers. At least from the looks of it, we've done it. There are so many mobs all over the place. It's probably because the trial chambers is no, literally spawning right in front of me. The trial chambers doesn't have mobs ones inside of it, so it's crunching it up inside of this cave, but I don't even care. The trial chambers is right over here. It's all mine. All right, so we gotta play it safe. We got baby Satan taking a swim, a jog across the river, and a skeleton right over here too. All right, I really do need to clear this area out, but I need to be careful. I have no clue the enchantments that you have. Maybe you have infinity bow. Give me the infinity bow, please, please. Dear infinity bow and baby zombie. Oh, no, 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 not now. You know what? You don't scare me. You don't scare me. You're a small child. You can't hurt me. You go away, go away. You don't scare me. Leave me alone. I'm level 25. And so, not only have we done it, but I've almost nearly entirely missed a sweet diamond, too. I need it. Diamond, diamond, beautiful diamond. I can't believe it. We've done it. And sure enough, 100% certain, that's a trial chamber sitting right over here on the wall. There are so many extra diamonds down here. So many other mobs down here. But the dreamiest thing is this little structure over here. Oh, I started a trial. I didn't mean to do that. I oh, and it's a breeze. Okay, well, I should have stayed away from it. I guess it doesn't matter. It's always going to be waiting there, but... <sighs> Great. Dang it. All right, so I think probably the next move here is going to establish a quick and easy way in and out. Considering the fact that home sweet home is like approximately that way, I feel like that's the direction we should make the staircase. Let's say maybe, I don't know, this spot right here looks about perfect for a staircase. No, and even better, check this out, I'm smart. It's, it's a genius idea, really. We put a fence gate right here, which means nobody can ever chase me up the staircase. None of the million mobs that just want to continuously, continually spawn. Nope. Hey, you know what? It, it just hit me. I probably should, like, conserve maybe the diamond pickaxe. I don't need to build a giant staircase with it. I'll make a couple more torches. Hopefully, that'll do. And I'll make a stone pickaxe. It'll be slow. Sure, sure. Definitely. But I think it'll be a whole lot more worth it than using up the old trusty diamond pickaxe. Let's get back home. At last, after only about a hey, then hours worth of digging, no big deal. Finally, at last, I see the sweet, sweet sandstone in the desert. The top has returned. Look, I'm not sure, technically speaking, how far the sandstone typically reaches down, but we need to be up near the top. Now, I can feel it, I know it, and then also, my inventory's clogged all the way, so I need to be at the top. I, I don't want to go back down. Fine, I'll go back down. So in this world, for the future, I never know what the adventures hold. Like, maybe at some point, I'm gonna wanna come back and build the biggest castle in the entire world. So I've been trying to save every single block, just so I, you know, have them all. That hallway, it was so long. Such a long, 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 long dig. But, on the bright side, I found a quite a bit of iron. I hit one patch of coal right at the end. And it was somewhere within the stone range that I actually also hit another cave, too. So that's something we could definitely come back over to later on and check out. But, maybe not today. Because now it's time to, oh, it's the middle of the night. Alrighty then, first things first, it's time to sleep. The surface, the sweet, sweet surface has been too long. Where are we? Where in the, oh, that's, that's home sweet home if I do know it. Oh, well, actually interesting. I guess it kind of makes sense. We went in basically a straight line, but like, we're straight out from home. I bet the trial chambers is like right underneath the beach, way over there or something. 
Now, after all, this is a pretty long staircase. Trial chambers, 100% we'll be back. I hope they upgrade the loot before I come back to here because that'd be even more beautiful, but we'll be back. I don't think there's any chance that I'll ever miss that cobblestone pillar with the torch on top, so that should be good. The second official matter of business back up on the surface is the subtitles. They have to go. I hate them. Ah, well, 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 what happened up here in the middle of the night? Some sort of desert massacre, it appears. The other order of business I'd like to take care of is the world scene. So you guys guessed that in episode one, and I kind of hinted at it in episode two, but yeah, I, I used the word waddles, all lowercase, beautifully, to make this world. Last but not least, the return of the king. Oh, you don't have to cheer for me. You don't have to cheer for me. I'm back. I was always going to come back. You knew that. You're mayor. You're dear mayor of the little town called the new little Waddleton. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm back home sweet home with a total of 38 diamonds and so much redstone I had to crunch it down into blocks. Also quite a bit of lapis too, I think our first one. Gold, iron, and that's just about it. I knew we would be able to do it today. I was 100% certain that we'd go ahead and finish up our goal, but I never knew I would do it with so much sweet profit. So back over, home sweet home, new little Waddleton, a beautiful name. From the looks of things, a lot of our farms over here are pretty much queued up, waiting and ready to go. I know what time it is. It's time to wrap up the episode. And thank you all so much for watching this one. The trial chambers? Oh, don't worry, we'll be back soon. I thought about taking it on today, but then I decided, no, 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 no. I want to have be able to take my good time taking it out and checking it out. Tap like for more episodes of the Hardcore series. For world downloads, eventually of this world, tap join for more. Your channel members get the occasional extra video, but more importantly, the world downloads. Until next time, it's been me, the, uh, <laughs> the trial chamber king. And I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.